Hi everyone, this is Usha Pandit, your MindSprings teacher and today I've got for you three words that might seem a little difficult but we're going to see how to make this easy for you. So the first one is imminent, the second one is eminent and the third one is prominent. You'll find that the, the ending minent seems to be the common one m-i-n-e-n-t in all the three words so as far as spelling is concerned you only need to remember i-m and e and p-r-o so if you remember it like that then the spelling is not going to be very difficult for you <coughs> so how do you say them they are not they are not they don't sound the same they are all different words so imminent eminent and prominent so the accent is on the first letter or the first syllable imminent right and eminent and prominent that's your pronunciation now let's look at the meaning the meaning of eminent is unavoidable so this time I thought I'll give you some more vocabulary so when you say it's unavoidable you can't avoid it another word for that is inevitable See, if you use words like that, suddenly everyone is impressed with your English. So it pays to learn those words and they all mean the same thing. So what is inevitable? Unavoidable, right? Unavoidable, inevitable, certain to happen soon. It will definitely happen and it's going to happen soon. Inescapable, you cannot escape it. Impending impending doom that is it is going to come whether you like it or not so it's almost a threat right so these are normally you will find them with negative words but not always and impossible to stop these are the meanings that means something that you cannot stop you cannot avoid you cannot escape that is imminent now because it's an adjective you must have a noun after it so you will have things like imminent arrival, imminent strike, imminent danger, uh, the destruction was imminent, imminent loss of potential. So if somebody has uh, left a job and he was very talented, you will say it was imminent loss of potential. Why imminent? Why unavoidable? Because you did not treat him the way he should be treated. So people would pity and say, Oh, what a pity he's gone. That was imminent loss of potential. Or you might say imminent loss of people. Such good people. There was an earthquake and entire villages were lost. Imminent loss of people. And imminent recovery. Economic recovery. So there was going to be a recovery. But that was stopped because of certain policies that the government got in. So imminent is something that is going to happen and which cannot be stopped. Okay, imminent. Now look at eminent. So if you understood imminent, well, we'll go to eminent. Eminent is a person who is respected, who is famous, who is important, who is an expert, who is honored, right? and who is superior so it's all about quality when you say an eminent person you mean someone who is not just rich and famous but somebody of great quality so who are these people you'll find them as eminent guests so your guest of honor and someone you call in to inaugurate something is an eminent personality someone who has qualified himself and someone who has had great experiences someone who's uh, done work that is really commendable that sort of person is an eminent person an eminent personality so an eminent guest an eminent member of an organization or an eminent figure an eminent scientist an eminent professor so i hope you get the word eminent so eminent has got to, eminent has got to do with quality it's not just rich and famous but quality <coughs> 
now we'll come to and that also is an adjective and it needs a noun so an eminent professor professor is a noun and eminent is the adjective and you can say you can make sentences with that and say the eminent professor uh, gave um, a spectacular lecture in, in at the auditorium so you can make sentences with that but you understand the meaning of the word eminent now we come to prominent now prominent and eminent are they are interchangeable because they have but prominent is not so much about quality it's not about you know having great qualifications and done a lot of work not necessarily but prominent is about being noticed noticeable that means the person stands out is prominent and anything can stand out so it doesn't have to be a person eminent is normally only people normally okay maybe once in a way you can use it for issues and things like that but normally eminent is used for people but prominent a mountain can be prominent in a landscape where everything is flat the mountain stands out it's eye catching it's that can be prominent or the prominent news of the day there is a particular all oh, there's so much news and then one prominent news is that the terrorist has been caught so that becomes the prominent news the foremost news of the day the highest news of the day conspicuous something that you notice immediately that is prominent so there's a small difference between prominent and eminent but a lot of eminent people are prominent but a lot of prominent people need not always be eminent okay just a small slight difference there this also is an adjective so all these are adjectives but they are excellent adjectives for you to have and if you use these words your english sounds fantastic let me also give you transformations so if this is an adjective eminent then the noun is eminence eminent eminence and imminently that verb is imminently here the noun is eminence and the adverb is eminently and here of course the noun is prominence and the adverb will be prominently so if you use some of these words they are excellent words excellent nouns adjectives adverbs your english automatically becomes extremely good there are lots of people who ask me how do we improve our vocabulary this is the way you improve your vocabulary you take your adjectives and transform them into nouns transform them into adverbs and start using them okay so you have prominent issues you have prominent features so if your lips are very big and really beautiful then you'll say that's her prominent feature or your prominent feature could be long beautiful silky hair so everyone has a strength something that stands out and therefore that is prominent or you can have a prominent position in your workplace or you can play a prominent part in a drama or you can have a prominent display in your office sometimes some things can be a prominent disorder right if someone has a huge stammer then you might say that's a prominent disorder because everybody notices it or you might have a prominent theory or a prominent number so lots and lots of ways in which you can use prominent it basically means something that stands out in a group so we've come to the end of this these three words which i hope you've understood thoroughly now so let me do pictograms with you pictogram sometimes when you um you know want to remember words you don't always have to remember them with other words this is one of those mistakes that we make we can use pictures okay so a pictogram if you say imminent danger and if i draw a picture of a mountain and rocks falling down and there's this guy sitting there what's going to happen to him he's in imminent danger of being hurt imminent danger cannot be avoided he cannot escape it because something is going to fall on his head or i might draw a scholar and remember her as an eminent scholar or i might draw a girl with big eyes and say prominent eyes 
so it's easier for me to remember pictures than to remember words so this is one way of remembering these rather confusing words okay so now let's go and do some exercises so let's see the surgeon so we're talking about a surgeon so would it be imminent eminent or prominent would you say prominent surgeon or eminent surgeon i would say eminent because the man is highly he is highly distinguished he is a person who is very learned who is very talented very skillful i'd say eminent rather than prominent remember for eminent there is a double m okay but if you remember it as m i n e n t and then i am you will be fine in a hospital can you say eminent hospital no so it will have to be a prominent hospital in the city a hospital that is very very important so watched over the imminent collapse something that cannot be avoided the patient was sick he collapsed the imminent collapse of his patient's condition the condition just deteriorated it started falling and imminent collapse means he is definitely going to collapse in a day or two so the eminent surgeon in a prominent hospital watched the imminent collapse of his patient's condition let's look at the second one the dash war is a result the dash war now see there war negative so it will be imminent war the imminent war is a result of politicians politicians are eminent because everybody knows them net i e m i n e n t politicians making what kind of blunders prominent blunders so they made so many prominent blunders that now there is going to be an imminent war in the country it's a terrible thing isn't it the dash writer now the writer again is going to be imminent eminent or prominent he is going to be eminent again learned talented so eminent writers dash work now the work can be eminent or it can be prominent we'll put prominent here because it was very important work prominent work was found to be plagiarized now see this word plagiarized plagiarized means that he's copied it from somewhere else and not given credit now if you plagiarize something it's a crime if you plagiarize something nobody is very happy with you because you've not given credit to the person who did that intellectual work so it was found to be plagiarized which is a terrible thing and so disqualification so he was going to be disqualified from whatever competition it was disqualification was imminent imminent cannot escape unavoidable inevitable see all those words so today i have not just shown you the difference between imminent eminent and prominent but i have added heaps and heaps to your vocabulary it's important that you practice these words so very often we speak colloquially if we would introduce some of these words into our everyday speech you will find that it comes naturally to you and you will always remember them so till we meet again keep practicing don't forget to subscribe in the description box you will find the link where you can go to our website and find my books that you can buy and if there are any particular topics that you want me to talk about or do with you do put it in the suggestion box or in the comments box below so thank you very much for listening